Hello, welcome back to Reading Time with Kent. Of course, this is Teacher Kent coming at you again. Originally from America, now I live in Japan with an English school in Taigaseki, Guma, Japan. So in these Reading Time with Kent, I always tell you, please read these. I'm sorry, watch these videos, or if you have these books at home, read them with your children just before bedtime. This is, of course, from our If You Were series. For example, today we're going to do If You Were a Verb. And so far we've done capillary period and uh, alliteration noun verb and next week don't forget to come next week where verb next week will be adjective yes adjectives uh, so today if you were a verb let's say there's some verbs already here swim travel do you know what they mean cartwheel and paddle let's see uh, i love this drawing if you were a verb if you're a verb what would you be don't forget to like before i start uh, so we know you're enjoying these videos if you were a verb you could swim that's right or tiptoe leap or dance so remember do these gestures to remember we also have gesture videos do these gestures so you know leap and dance and tiptoe to practice these verbs travel paddle cartwheel cartwheel is like this one i could never do a cartwheel or plunge take a plunge jump into the river okay yeah so practice with gestures to remember these verbs uh, verbs, <coughs> sorry, verbs get things going. Yes, to get something moving, as I mentioned in the last video, you need a verb. For example, here, if you are a verb, you could balance and bend. Yes, she's balancing and bending. You could uh, twist and turn, twist and turn, and you could swoop and soar. Yes, swoop and soar. Yes, if you're a verb. Let's see next. Uh, if you were a verb, so if you were a verb, you would appear in every sentence. That's right, every sentence has to have a verb. You would be, this is a verb actually, you would be in every book, every newspaper, every magazine, and every letter ever written. Yes, actually, to to make a sentence, you would need a verb. You'll need some action of that sentence to move it along. For example, this one, I'll give you an example here. The mighty ship sails out of the harbor. Yes, we have the mighty ship, that's a noun, uh, sails out of the harbor. But if we get rid of the verb here and just say the mighty ship out of the harbor, it doesn't make sense. It's a broken sentence. We need a verb to make it into a sentence. You could say the mighty ship. Like what sails out of the harbor? Ah, the mighty ship is possible. When you say the mighty ship out of the harbor, hmm, you need this one. Okay, the mighty ship sails out of the harbor uh, waves crash against his side. Seagulls scream overhead. Yes, seagulls scream overhead. Seagulls scream. And the waves crash against the sides as it sails out of the harbor. Yes. So here we go. If you were, if you were a verb, extra words <coughs> would help you show action. These extra words are called helping verbs. Yeah, these are called helping verbs. For example, here, may. You may give the usher your ticket now. Yes. Uh, sorry, here's the ticket. You may give the usher your ticket now. May is, of course, the helping verb. Give is the main verb. So you may give. Yes, here. The popcorn will be popping soon. Popping is the verb, but will be is the action. Oh, sorry, helping verb. It helps to know when it will be popping. And here, the movie has started on the big screen. Again, start is the verb, so has is the helping verb. Here we go. If you were a helping verb, you would have 23 members in your family. Yes. For example here, may, might, must, be, being, need, am, are, is, was, were, do, does, did, should, could, would, have, had, has, will, can, shall. So stop and pause this video if you need to practice these. So pause. Bing. Pause the video so you can practice these, write them down, and remember these helping verbs. You would have 23 helping verbs in your family. Okay, next, let's see. So next page, page 12, I want to make sure this is correct. We were on page 11, right, with helping verbs, right? Yes, page 12. Okay, here we go. If you were a helping verb, you could link things together. You would be a linking verb. Sometimes linking verbs are called state of being verbs, yeah, because they tell you what's happening, what's being. For example, it's not action here, it's like more being. The swimmer was tired, so was. It's just an, it's a state of being. It's not actually moving something. So not the swimmer was swimming, that would be an action verb. Okay, the beach ball is floating. Yeah, it is floating, so again, state of being. The lifeguard, <coughs> the lifeguards were done for the day. The lifeguards were done for the day. So here you go.
If you were a linking verb, your most common forms would be is, am, were, was, are, be, been, and been, of course, to help you to link things together. So if you were a verb here, if you were a verb, you would change when time passed. You could be in past tense, present tense, or future tense. So past tense, present tense, or future tense in the future. For example, here, last night, the bicycle, yeah. Last night, the bicycles glided through the park. The, so the bicycles, you can see, glided through the park. So again, glided last night. So that was past tense. Then here, now, so now would be today, now the bicycles glide through the park. So glided last night, glide today. And then tomorrow, so future tense, tomorrow the bicycles will glide through the park. So again, glided yesterday, glide today, will glide for future. Yes, you could tell time, present, past, oh, sorry, past, present, or future. Okay. If you were a verb here, if you were a verb, you would change when the number of people or things change. For example, here, one acrobat swings above the crowd. Yeah, the, the crowd's here. One acrobat swings above the crowd. But here, if you more than one thing, but five acrobats swing above the crowd. Yes, so five acrobats swing. One swings five swing you can see it changes in english if you have more than one thing the s goes away example here we go if you are a verb you would get together with other verbs to make cool and exciting sentences for example here's a great sentence the rocket speeds towards the spaceship the rocket speeds toward the spaceship here that whirls and spins above the earth so whirls and spins above the earth so it speeds. So you can make action sentences like that. Speeds, whirls, and spins. Okay, here. Oh, our last page. Wow, what a beautiful sight. You could always be moving if you were a verb. So if you're a verb, like I said at the beginning of this book, you would always be moving. You would have some action in you if you're a verb. So again, this was if you're a verb. Uh, you can see usually V or we say VB for verb, if you're verb in here. Don't forget these are picture books. Thanks again for watching. Next time, of course, we're going to do adjectives. So come back next week to see adjectives. Remember, these are done once a week, these reading times, because you should watch them at least seven times to recognize this information. So every day this week, you should watch before bedtime to make it input into your head. Thanks again for watching. Watch these other popular videos on our channel and some other reading time with Kent videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good day. See you.